नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्रिएट लॉन्ग स्ट्रेंगल स्ट्रेटजी फॉर मिस्टर अमिताभ बच्चन ऑप्शन प्राइस फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई एक्सरसाइज प्राइस और स्ट्राइक प्राइस इज टू फोर्टी फॉर पुट ऑप्शन एंड इट इज टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फॉर कॉल ऑप्शन पुट प्रीमियम इज टेन एंड कॉल प्रीमियम इज ट्वेल्व एक्चुअल प्राइस फॉर द मंथ ऑफ जुलाई इज द डिफरेंट प्राइसेस हैव बीन प्रोवाइडेड टू अस फॉर मिस्टर अमिता बच्चन यू आर दीज थ्री आंसर्स Please write on heading long strangle strategy. Full stop. In the write down first point. Once again over here. Friends will follow the same sequence. Note. then answer by you then i will do and then a kind of logical understand once again over here there is a combination of call option and put option Full stop. In case of long strangle strategy, comma. Trader will enter into. following transactions one purchase call option second purchase put option with perigar fed down for same security same time period with different exercise price this is the way we will have the long strangle strategy now try to compute the profit or loss on your own so let us see how to make the calculation of answer column number 1 is the spot price of equity share The prices have been given to us zero, two one zero, two thirty. So zero, two one zero, two thirty, two forty, two forty five, two sixty, two forty five, two sixty, two eighty, two ninety, and ten thousand. Two eighty, two ninety, and ten thousand. The first is so the call option. so whether you will exercise the right or not we have been provided with the information that said the exercise price for the call option is 260 so 
So what happens at over here? At 260, you are indifferent. The price is less, you will not exercise. The price is more, you will exercise. If at all you do not exercise or you are indifferent, the payoff will be zero. Otherwise, you will have the positive payoff. So let us see the amount of the payoff. So over here, sale price, purchase price and payoff. So 260 is the purchase price, 280 is the sale value. So 20 rupees is the payoff. 260 is the purchase price, 290 is the sale price, so 30 rupees is the payoff. 260, 10,000, so it is 9740, that is the payoff. This is the payoff for the different spot price for call option. We will do similarly for the put option, in which we are required to decide whether to exercise our put option or not. For call option exercise price is 216 and for put option the exercise price is 240. So at 240, again we are indifferent. When the price is less, we will exercise our right. When the price is more, we will not exercise our right. This is the way we have the exercisation. Then it is again sale price. Purchase price and payoff. Okay. We understand that say if at all you are indifferent or you do not exercise, the payoff is zero. Otherwise, you will purchase the security at 230 to be sold at 240. So 10 rupees is the payoff. 210, 214, so 30 rupees is the payoff. Zero. 240, so 240 is the payoff. The next is a premium. And then finally the profit or loss. We understand that say, overall premium is required to be paid 22 rupees. That is 10 plus 12, that comes to 22 is the premium which is required to be paid. So what will happen? 0 plus 240 minus 22. So the profit is 218, 0 plus 240 minus 22. Again 0 plus 210, sorry, plus 13. So 13, 0 plus 13 minus 22. So there is a profit of rupees 8 and so on. Next, it is Payoff is 0, then over here it is 10. So 0 plus 10 minus 22. That comes to negative 1. Because over here the option is not exercised, so the payoff value is 0. Option is not exercised, so the payoff value is 0. So 0 payoff, 0 payoff, so there is a loss of 22 rupees. That is a premium. 0, 0, so loss of 22 rupees. 0, 0, loss of 22 rupees. 0 plus 20, that is 20 minus 22, so loss of rupees 2. Zero plus 30, that is 30 minus 22. That comes to rupees 8. 9740 plus 0 minus 22. So it is 9718. That is the amount of the profit that you will have. Now, in respect of the break even point, we understand profit, profit, then it is loss. So the break even point is lying between these two. So again we take the base of 210 for doing answer. That is preferably the lower price. 
So 210 plus 8, 218. Now 218 is not exceeding 216. That is the exercise price for the call option. So the call option is not exercised. 218 is less than 240. So put option will be exercised. So you purchase a security at 218 to be sold at 240. So 22 rupees is the payoff. So 0 plus 22 minus 22. So overall it is 0. Okay, next. That is a loss 22, loss 22, loss 22, loss 2 rupees, and there is a profit of rupees 8. So the answer is between these two. We take the base of 280. So 2 rupees will be once again added. Two eighty two is exceeding two sixty. So you will exercise your call option. So payoff is twenty two positive. Put option is not exercised. So over here this is zero. Why? Because two eighty two is not less than two hundred fourteen. That is the exercise price of the put option. So again twenty two plus zero minus twenty two. So the overall it comes to zero. That is the way the profit or loss can be calculated for the individual spot price. So when spot price of the equity share is zero, that is a profit of 218. So we always start with that value. This is 218 and this is zero. When the price increases, so the profit is falling down. So it will fall down like this. We understand that say when the price is 214, at that point of time none of the option is exercised. Till the time the price is reaching to 260, none of the option is exercised. Beyond 260, your call option will start exercised. So it goes like this. And this will go like this for unlimited amount. There is a loss of rupees 22 when none of the option is exercised. And it is in the price range of 214 to 260. So this is 218. This is 282. This is the way we have the diagram and this goes for unlimited amount. Unlimited amount. 